Well, hey folks, I just got back from the dump. No great finds today, but I got a few things. We usually bring something home. So, when we're at the cabin in the summer enjoying the fire out in the yard, we're usually burning a couple of tiki torches, which we really enjoy and it keeps the bugs at bay. But we have the real tall ones there, and we were talking about getting some shorter ones, so when we're sitting down low near the fire, to have a few shorter ones. So I go to the dump, and there's this little batch of the short tiki torches. They're in good shape. Two of them need wicks, but that's no problem. Just use a piece of rope. What a fine. Just what we wanted. And then there was this little cash box, and this is an old one that built heavy duty, and things were heavy duty in the old days. Now I don't really need another cash box, but I can always use another toolbox, and this is perfect for my needs because it's low profile, and I think it'll fit perfect on the floor of the back seat of the Forerunner, and I get a little toolbox set up for that because that's something I've been wanting to do. I love our dump, but well, you got to call it the transfer station because they don't like it when you call it the dump. I just want to share a little something with you. When we lived at the homestead in northern New York, um, every week we would grab these two local papers. They're classified ads. They're free. They come out every week. The Free Trader and the North Country Shopper. If you were looking to buy or sell something, this was the answer. I bought and sold a lot of property with these papers. So the last time we went to the cabin, I'd stopped to grab something at a store, and I saw these up at the counter, and I go, oh, now grab them for the hell of it, you know, just to look back through them, see what's going on. And I got quite a chuckle out of it. Um, and let me tell you why. You know, before, if you got caught smoking marijuana, you'd get in trouble. And if you bought marijuana, you bought it illegally, okay? And now, I don't smoke pot, so I'm not up to date with stuff, but... And I knew that it was legalized, you know, here and there, but didn't pay attention to it because I don't smoke anything. So, what an eye-opener, all right? So I grabbed the Free Trader, and right on the front page is a pot store. Well, i got to use the right terminology. It's not a pot store. It's a dispensary. Like, the dump is not the dump. It's the transfer station. But anyway, front page of the free trader is a dispensary. 24 hour drive through you know, in case you get in a pinch. <laughs> drive through rewards. $500 cash weekly giveaways. This must be big business. Home of the dollar dabs. I don't really know what that is, because like I said, I don't smoke. But evidently, a little dab will do ya. <laughs> So anyway, there's pot stores, dispensaries, all over that place. Now here on the North Country Shopper Furniture Store, there I think they were always on the front. There's a pot store right there, the marijuana right there. There's another one at the top, more marijuana. You don't get to go to the back room anymore. There's some more right here, right? And this one, bud tender experts on hand to assist you. A bud tender. <laughs> Not the bud light though, right? Now hiring. How does it work with that? Can you, you go and apply. It's like a 40 years experience. 40 years of smoking it with you know, rolled joints, bongs, uh, hash brownies, you name it. I've done it. And do they do a, a urine test? And if they don't find marijuana in your urine, you don't get the job? How exactly does this work? Now, if I've been informed correctly, marijuana has been legalized in all of the surrounding states. Maine, Vermont, New York. I think it's legalized in Massachusetts and Connecticut. But here, in the live free or die state, it's illegal. 
It's only legal if you have a card for medical marijuana. But if you have a card for medical marijuana, you have to give up your firearms because they won't let you have your firearms if you're smoking pot. So your card for medical marijuana is good for the glaucoma, but not for the glock owner. I want to take a moment to answer a few questions that have recently come in. Now questions come in on a daily basis. People are always asking me about the method that I use for skirting my cabins. So I'm making a video on that subject and I should have it finished and uploaded to my channel sometime this month. It should answer all your questions and help you with your building project. But let's just take a stab at a few of these right here today. Is there a reason you don't have a cap on your chimney? Yes, there's a very good reason why I don't keep a cap on the chimney. I have a cap on the chimney for about half the year when the stove is not being used or used very little. But when I'm using it full time, I don't have the cap on the chimney because if a chimney fire ever starts, I want to be able to extinguish it right away. Once a chimney fire gets rolling, it shoots flames out of that chimney like a Roman candle. You're not going to be able to get that chimney cap off. All right. I always have a ladder leaning against the building during the winter months because if a chimney fire starts, I want to be able to put it out right away and waste no time. There's always a bubble foil question. I'm going to address this again in further detail because there's some really important things. But a question came in this morning. I told them I was going to answer that. People always want to use this in the walls. If you use it in the walls, use it on the inside of your walls. Like either over the studding, but preferably in between the studding. So you have the foil, your wall insulation, then your exterior sheathing. I would not put this against the exterior sheathing. Because in that manner it is reflecting cold back into the wood. I put it on the underside of my floor system where it reflects the heat back into the floor and my floors are warm. In the roof of this building, I have it on the inside of the rafters. It's reflecting heat back in. And if this is in a manner where it's reflecting cold, it probably will collect moisture behind it. But when I'm reflecting heat, I have no moisture problems whatsoever. I have great results using that. Another question is, do you ever think about raising rabbits? I have in the past, a long time ago, but if we ever do again, I only want the ones that dress like border collies. They're perfect. In a recent video you talked about your dress code and I wonder, do you ever dress up or wear a tie? <laughs> if I have to go to a funeral or something like that, and I, I will dress up and yes I will wear a tie, but like I said in my last video, I won't stray too far from my true colors and I may be pretty particular about the design of that tie. One last one and I'm going to wrap it up. This is a fun one. Whatever happened to Brandon the chicken? Did it ever straighten up or end up in the soup pot? <laughs> that little ISA Brown was a laying machine. I mean putting out eggs like crazy. And then one day it just stopped laying and I know hens burn out and they do that. Not only did it stop laying, it started growing longer tail feathers and crowing like a rooster. We were hearing cock-a-doodle-doo coming from the hen house. The chicken had gone transgender. Apparently, it happens sometimes with hens. It turns out that the age-old question of why did the chicken cross the road was finally answered. The answer is to get to the other side but it's used in a different context. Our friends have a farm, they free range their birds, and they said, just bring it over, we'll add it to the flock. And we did. The little Brandon went to a gender reassignment program, and now the cock-a-doodle-doo is cock-a-doodle done. Frankie and the boss out walking in the woods, living life happy and free. Tracks in the snow everywhere they go There's a pokey way up in that tree A beaver built a pond where they have some fun Taking life a day at a time Best friends 
until the end Frankie and the boss Frankie and the boss Frankie and the boss